so plain. Uh, you know, it's not every day that our studio gets taken over right from the start of the show. But here we are in the middle of this mayhem and a huge celebration for this new production. You've seen it with us before, Richard O'Brien's Rocky Horror Show. And we have been there from day one with the show. We're thrilled again to have the whole cast, sequins and all. Iota otherwise known as Frank Conferta. Also, uh, Tamsin Carroll as Magenta. <laughs> Hi, girls, and as well, uh, Sharon Millichip as Columbia. We've got Riff Raff, Paul Capsis. Thank you, Paul. And the one and only John Waters as the narrator. And, of course, the other fabulous cast. Applause, applause, applause. Jamie and I had so much fun in that, and thank you for putting up with us. But excuse me, it's the first time I've been out blinged. <laughs> <laughs> Carl's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. It's so me. <laughs> I've got to say, congratulations on the show. It's just so much fun. I mean, the audience must, and I know from opening night, get so involved. Did they ever get over-involved? Well, they, they, <laughs> I think they they think they know what to expect, but it's a little bit different at, at times. But there, there is a, there's a scripted kind of barracking and shouting out and heckling that they do. And um, apparently during the screenings of the movie, they, they call out slut when Janet's on and they call out boring when the narrator is on, which took me a bit by surprise. <laughs> um, because they yelled it out before I'd even opened my mouth. But, um, you know, you've got, to, you've got to be ready to come back at them with something. I'm the only person who's entitled to actually speak to the audience, I suppose, you know. So they yelled out boring at me, and I said, I'll have you know I'm a highly trained dramatic actor. I've merely fallen on hard times. <laughs> And they went crazy. They <laughs> went <laughs> nuts. I bet they do. Now, the whole get up, the staging, the outfits, the makeup, it really is spectacular. Uh, how long does it take your girls and I to, to put. Do you all do your own makeup? Yeah. You do. That's yeah. an art. It takes a long time, hours. <laughs> hours. <laughs> we don't wake up really late. <laughs> and well. I Iota, when you make your grand entrance, the audience goes nuts. How good does that feel? Yeah, it feels pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> that happens to me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> when I walk out of the shower. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I mean, let's, let's go back. Th it's the 35th anniversary of the Rocky Horror Show this, this year. Now, you know, it is a fabulously brilliantly produced show, but it would... I mean, it's a bit naughty today in parts, some people might consider, but imagine how shockingly naughty it was going back then. I mean, you're probably all too young to actually sort of remember the... And I'm not looking at you for any particular reason, John Waters. <laughs> uh, yes, I was. I was. Well, I was just a baby, but... Um, I was allowed to stay up late one night to watch the show. Yeah, no, I did see the original Sydney production, and um, it was pretty outrageous. Um, I, th I think there was it, there wasn't quite so much of a obviously there wasn't any cult following because it hadn't developed yet, and the audience was pretty much stunned into silence um, by the sight of uh, Reg Livermore uh, costumed mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. And around the world, various uh, other presenters and people in the show. Jerry Springer, I understand, had a yeah. hand, and even Russell Crowe. Mm. Do you remember that, John? No, I didn't see that uh, production. That was a, a 70s tour, I mm. think, that Walter Morley had. I was an usher at the Theatre Royal when he was doing that. <gasps> oh, really? As a child. <laughs> 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 no, it was in the mid-80s, I think, and Russell played uh, Cousin Eddie. Mm. Played his Eddie and, and Dr Scott. Wow. That it was yeah. wild. And Daniel Eben Ebeneri played Frank. Wow. Yeah, it was wild. Because, of yeah. course, Russell wasn't that famous then. No. It was just it was another Aussie up. news. Yeah. What to, I wonder if I haven't looked. We must look at Russell Crowe's um, resume and see if it's mm. on there. <laughs> I'm sure it is. I've I think read it that is. he did it for a really long time as well. Yeah. It was oh, quite yeah. a long tour. Yeah, yeah. Long tour. and um, yes, um, Stuart Wagstaff was the narrator mm -hmm. on on that tour, and uh, uh, you know, yeah, there were quite a Steve Bastoni was uh, in it. Quite Rocky, a few people he we played know. Rocky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the great parts of the girls, Tamsin and Sharon. Yeah. I mean, how much fun are you having? Yeah, a bit. It's just <laughs> fantastic. Bit. It's kind of this fantasy, you know, I'm sort of this mother by day and then at <laughs> night time I drag on the fishnets and, <laughs> and, 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 you know, live out this whole alter ego. It's, it's wonderful. I'm having such a great time. And what do the children say? <laughs> oh, mummy! <laughs> <laughs> you got a funny hat. <laughs> they haven't seen it. It might be a bit blue <laughs> for my children. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, one time we were talking, it was dusty time. Yes, well, it just a little, same kind of eye makeup. A lot of eyelashes still, so I haven't got rid of them yet. But um, <laughs> slightly different makeup shades, I suppose. But. Now, working 
in an iota, you, you're on stage virtually, you know, a whole bunch of this time, and this is a very, very tight crew, tightly choreographed, everybody's got to be in the right places. Mm. I just found out trying to get through. <laughs> Jamie hauled me from point A to point Easily. B. Um, do you ever bump into each other? Often. <laughs> on purpose. We rather <laughs> like that. Oh, right. That explains a lot. <laughs> now you got it. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, that's tough work to stay tight, is it not? It's a very intricate set. The set's wonderful, lots of levels, lots of balconies and ladders and things, lots of climbing and um, a few audience appearances from, uh -huh. from Iota. So it's, it's really quite, quite a fabulous dimensive, lots of dimensions on the set. And it's pretty exhausting. And we, I know when you joined us last week as yourself, but with those fabulous songs that you did, it's exhausting. How many shows yes. a week? Eight, isn't it? Eight, Eight. yes. Oh. Two Saturday, two Sunday. That's the hardest. The sun getting to the Sunday. Mm -hmm. That's when I find I have like, you know, problems with turning fast, and then I want to trip <laughs> over them because I'm so exhausted. But it's you get the energy from the audience and each other. And yeah. It's fabulous. Is it better than being an usher? Definitely. <laughs> better. <laughs> first job as an usher. Do you remember your first job? It was an usher. I oh, know. I can't remember my first job. I started working at such a young age, like mm -hmm. part time jobs after school. I think I was 10. What Maybe you, I was eight, eight, I think. What do you remember as your first job, John? And did you ever think you'd see yourself on stage in underpants? Um, no, I didn't <laughs> actually. No, my, my first job was uh, opening and shutting the gates of the uh, lock at Teddington Lock in southwest London, and aged 11, I think, and I got paid about sixpence an hour. Wow. Yeah. Iota? I was a uh, apprentice mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> Satanic mechanic. <laughs> 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 no, me. I was. But I didn't actually have an apprenticeship. The, the guy just said, you come and do things for me, like sweep up and change tyres and we'll call you an apprentice mechanic. Can you change a tyre now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> We've got a have you car. Got one? We've got a car park full of cars. Let's go, sister. I'm now, ready. <laughs> would I just love to see you in that change in somebody's tire? Let's do it. I'm ready. Okay. We <laughs> might just be able to organise that. <laughs> um, uh, Sharon, oh, Sharon. I'm sorry, Tamson. Your first job? Well, I, I was doing hairdressing for a while, and but Paul and I have both been ushers at the, the wonderful Theatre Royal in Sydney, mm -hmm. so they've been good to us. Sharon? Uh, I pumped petrol at Cottage Point <laughs> service station. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel very butch saying that. <laughs> we should open up a business. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so everybody's having a good time. Does it? You know, is there any conflict at any stage? Come on, because let's face it, every production, every tight group of people, you Not do it group. so hard. Well, it's it's such it a great like group. White wine or red wine on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which pub? That's much. about That's it. That's about all. Mm. I'm no, very disgruntled group. about not getting a song to sing, so I, I, I occasionally um, leap up on the balconies on the other side of the stage and join in. <laughs> I get <laughs> told off. Yes. <laughs> but, you know, I'll keep trying. He's yeah, very wonderful. naughty. But I don't know about your heels, Carrie Ann. <gasps> I think you're upstaging a little bit there, yeah. about 30 feet high. Yeah, I know. <laughs> my, my, oh, yeah. these old things. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had my simple outfit on today, but we had to just dress it up. Um, and I don't want to give away the end, but I've got to say, when I saw the show and the final thing, and having you out there in your glory, John. Mm hmm Yeah. Well, <laughs> you must have seen another show. <laughs> now, we don't want to give it away. But I can't say thank you um, enough. It's such an enormous effort with your workload to come in and do this for us and also allow Jamie and I to, to have a little bit of fun. And uh, we are going to go... We are really going to try and get you to... We'll get you on a main road <laughs> for somebody with... <laughs> main road somewhere in Australia changing a tyre. I, I have to see this. I dare you to. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's on, it's on. Okay. Yeah. Don't forget, uh, at the casino, st it's, uh, star it's the um, Star Room, isn't it? Star Theatre. Star Theatre. Star theater. Theater. Mm. Uh, congratulations. You're all just brilliant. Um, Admire you. And thanks for playing the game with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. More coming up. Here's Jamie.